Hey guys, Patton here. So in the last video I just showed you um, kind of my excitement with having the new filter options using HackG and your SNES Mini. Um, so I'm going to show you in this video how I did that. Uh, so first let me explain the different modes that you can choose from. Alright, so the first mode we have is 4-3. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this mode. It does look really clear, um, but just the graphics are boxy, pixelated, um, so I'm, I'm not a huge fan of it. I, you can play it maybe far away from your TV or something like that, uh, but generally with the other filters, I'm not a fan of this one. Next we have the CRT mode, which also comes with the SNES Classic Standard. You can see here that both filters are applied. You have the scan lines, which are the horizontal lines that go across the screen, and also the smoothing kind of blurriness effect added on by the bilinear filtering. Uh, this was a really nice addition, and um, they actually had this on the NES Classic too. I really enjoyed this filter. I used it the entire time. I didn't pick anything else. So that's why I was so excited to hear about the new ones. So now we're getting into the filters that uh, have been added with the new release of Hackchi 2.21. This one is scan lines only without the bilinear filtering. I'm not a fan of this at all. You can It's more distracting to have those horizontal lines on there than anything else. So I probably won't be using this myself, but some other people I've heard have liked this. So if you're into that, here you go. And last, we have my personal favorite, the bilinear filtering or the smoothing with no scan lines. This is what really brought me back to how the games used to look back when I played them on my original Super Nintendo. Um, it's just got this real nice smoothing effect. It looks incredibly like it used to back in the day. So this is my filter of choice. I'll probably put this on every game that I play. I, I really enjoy this filter. I can't stress enough how, how great this is to me. So the first thing you want to do is go up to your modules, install extra modules, and you'll see right here, SNES custom filters, and it, it has all the arguments right here um, that you want to put into your global command argument. So you make sure that's checked, hit OK to install that to your SNES Classic, and they'll be on your, you'll be on your way. To add these to your game, you can add them to individual games. You just have to add the command line argument to the end of the, you know, the uh, the command line. I'm sorry, the argument goes to the end of the command line. So I will include the command lines, or the argument, excuse me, in the description of how to do all these so you don't get too confused. To add them to all games, which is what I did because I like that filter so much, um, you go to settings, global command line arguments. Now in here is where you're going to put the arguments. If you want the bilinear filter for the 4-3 mode, you're going to hit dash dash 4-3 smooth. That's going to have the same effect as removing the scan lines from the CRT mode. To remove the scan lines from CRT mode, which is going to be basically the same thing, you go dash dash no dash scan lines. If you only want scan lines in CRT mode, you're going to hit dash dash no dash smooth. And that's it. You pick one of those three, you hit OK. Then you're just going to save the settings to the SNES Mini. Now mine's not plugged in right now or turned on, but just make sure your SNES Mini is plugged in and turned on save it you'll get the green bar saying that everything's going through yes cancel um, and then that filter will be applied to the stock games only this doesn't work with retroarch games let me specify that any games that you're running through retroarch um, it will not work like you know if you add a, a game that's not compatible with the stock snes emulator that little box comes up saying hey we know there's some issues with this you want to run it through retroarch it won't work on any games running through RetroArch, only through the native SNES emulator. That's about it. Start adding those filters and making your games look great. So if you guys want to get in touch with me outside of the YouTube comments, you can feel free to follow my Twitter, at PatentPlace. Or if you have any questions, uh, you can email me at my Gmail account, patentplaysgames at gmail.com. 
Thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you guys next time.